For today's adventure, you're going to want a Nook Color tablet. You're going to want a micro SD card, a USB to micro SD converter, and a computer with a USB port on it. So the first step is to grab your micro SD and put it into your uh, USB thingy. And then we put that in the computer. And then I'll have the links down below, but you want to, I'm going to use Bolena Etcher, that's my favorite uh, SD card writer. And it makes it pretty straightforward. Select the image. Um, and we want this uh, generic SD card, it'll be 1.3. Select the target. And I'm going to use my SD card and then flash and it's going to complain because I'm using a large SD card and this part finishes pretty quickly so I guess I'll just leave it on validating unmounting okay we can close this um, now we needed to recognize the SD card again, so I'm just going to pop it out and pop it back in. And so you can see it's got all the boot software on there. And so I'm going to grab this, uh, sorry, not this one. And then I'm going to grab... this uh, update CM7 RCO Encore. Encore stands for the Nook tablet, sorry, the color, Nook color tablet. And you just drag it over and that's it there. So yeah, so then we, you know, pop it out. Um, I guess you can do the, the safe Reject boot, then you pop it out. Now I'm gonna have to cut this because it's kind of a pain to do this. I already have one in there, but I'm just doing it again for you guys. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. It's kind of tricky. Uh -huh. That's nice, it's got that satisfying click to it. Anyways, you put that in, you flip it over, push the power button, and the first step uh, indication that you did something right is that um, the Linux logo will appear. Well, I guess first it's going to say loading, and then it's going to have the Linux stuff on there. So it goes through installation, and you're going to see a bunch of things flying by. Um, but you'll see that uh, some of them are like that that image that you just put on there. It'll be like, hey, I need to unzip this and start installing it. So if you did it right, you should get to this point where it's like, hey, do you have G apps? I didn't put G apps on there, but I'm pretty sure you just put it in the same folder the, the same way I did that the image. And then it's like, okay, I need to restart. Or I guess I need to power off and it turns itself off. And so then you just power it back on again. And yeah, sometimes the power button's a little iffy on this. Like, do you want to hold it down or do you want to just tap it?
Now it does loading again. And if you did it right, um, this Android CM guy comes out and then it's loading. And yeah, that's about it. I guess you can stick around, it'll just kind of keep going. I'll have the link to the two files down below. It took me like a day to find them because like CM went bankrupt and or like shut down in 2016. And so yeah, there you go. And it's working.